Hello, we're back again. It's time for the Crimson Vow in a stride. You see, Soren. Here's our buy box promo. Castle Dracula. Add one colorless, pay one life, add one man of any color, spend it only to cast vampires. Pay five, create a blood token. This ability costs one less to activate for each vampire you control. Not bad. I'd like to thank Jacob up at Arena Games for hooking us up with the box. Let's get into packs. Packs. Oh, and here is our box topper. I was told to open this first. Oh, look at that on the other side. It's Olivia, the happy bride. All right, box topper first. This should be a Dracula promo. Sorry. And we got Lucy, oh, wrong side. Lucy, beginning of your upkeep, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If no one does, transform. Three, a uh, one, three. Transforms into a vampire. Gets plus two, plus two, as long as an opponent controls a human. Three, three. It's Lucy. Nice. Time for the packs. On packs. On packs. Pack one. Boom. Human. Oh, our rares are going to be up front. That sucks. Here's the extra turn spell, though. Somebody's trying to tell me to play it. <laughs> I hate when the packs are that way. Return the spell. Number one. The pack doesn't want to open. Day and night. Island. Oh, we got Audric. I love this frame. This frame. This frame looks beautiful. Audric's not great. When he enters the battlefield, create X blood tokens where X is the number of abilities among flying, first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, meanness, reach, trampolopoline, and vigilance found among creatures you control. Some uncommons, commons. So, so far, we got a lot of red. Red, red, red. Because it's Crimson Val. Color of blood. Rares up front. Got a planes. Oh! It's Edgar, Charming Groom. Other vampires get plus one, plus one. When he dies, return to the battlefield. As Edgar Markov's Coffin. Beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one white black vampire token with a lifelink and put a bloodline counter on Edgar. Then if there are three or more counters on it, remove it and transform it. I wanted to make a commander out of this, but I figured everybody's going to be doing that. Maybe this is telling me to do it. Beep, beep, air fryer. Hot dogs in the air fryer. If you haven't tried it, you should. They're delicious. Oh, that's cool. All 
one so far. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Technical difficulties, sorry. The Headless Rider. Either another non token zombie dies, create a 2 2 zombie. Not bad. The Edgar art looks fantastic. I like this set. Spirit. Getting another combat on your turn. Target wolf or werewolf you control gets plus two plus two. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, create a two two wolf. I might make the egg or deck anyway. Screw it. I really like those frames. A braid, they brought a braid back. Needed it. Needed it. I hope everybody goes out and enjoys Crimson Val. Pre release this weekend. I'll be playing at Arena Games in Cleveland Friday and Saturday, 7 o'clock each. Come on out, have a good time. Blah, we got another one. Audric. Blue, boo. I love those. Love those frames. I want to notice no foils yet. Ooh, creature, creatures attacking each other, play, player have trample. Whenever a creature dealt combat damage, whenever a creature deals combat damage to an enchanted player, that player exiles the top card of their library until the end of that player's turn may play that spell. They may spend mana of though it's any color. Blood Fountain. <clears throat> oh, look at that zombie. It's trying to break into the church. How rude. It's trying to interrupt the wedding. Look at that. So rude. Oh, we. Old Rottenstein. Three drop. Whenever it enters the battlefield or at the beginning of your upkeep, mill a card. If it's a land, create a treasure. If it's a creature, create an insect. If it's a non creature, non land, create a blood token. Not too bad. Catapult fodder. And it flips into Catapult Captain. get a land though do you oh yes you do there's a foil land 
Oh, you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except a spirit in addition. Or then you can disturb it. Beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of an enchanted creature except a spirit in addition. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, there's that beautiful art. Beautiful. There's a braid again. We need as many as we can get. We're going to be destroying chariots. I think Soren was the best man at the wedding. Another foil. Force. Ooh, look at that. Flying life link protection from vampires. Power and toughness. Each equal to the number of permanents you control that are spirits and or enchantments. And then on the other side, enchanted creature has flying lifelink protection from vampires and gets plus X plus X where X is the number of spirit permanents you control or enchantments. Boom. Get there. Chainsaw. Yum. <clears throat> that white card. We need the double white that does life gain stuff. <clears throat> Blood token. Welcoming vampire. Ooh, this is pretty good too. Whenever one or more other creatures with power two or less enter in a battlefield under your control, draw a card. This only triggers once a turn. Not bad. Not bad. I'm glad we're back on the end of Strahd and did it right this time. Did it right. Mm. <clears throat> we got a human. Oh! the bad art but it's still Edgar that's two Edgars we got maybe we're being told something maybe he's like make me as a commander who cares what everybody else is doing just do it better than them I like that frame and that art is gluttonous guest let's get let's get a second opinion Yep, so we are a fan of that frame and that art. She looks like she's having a good time. She has quite the cleavage, too. She said, nice. Let him free, right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't deserve to be free. Zombie trying to break in again. Foil. Ooh, beginning of each... In step, put a slime counter on each creature you don't control. Creatures you don't control get negative one, negative one for each slime counter. On. Whenever a creature you don't control with a slime counter dies, make a one, one black slug. Sacrifice a slug, draw a card. Not bad. There's the old death touch. Oh, there's another art frame. I like it. I like it. Two, two eggers, though. Two Edgar Markovs. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe nobody's going to want to play him. They're like, shh, he's trash. Hive Heart Shaman. Whenever it attacks, you may search your library for a basic land. It doesn't share a type with a land you control. Put the card on the battlefield and shuffle your library. Pay six. Create a 1 1 green insect token. Put X plus 1 counters for X is the number of basic land among types of land you control. Only as a sorcery. Meh. Yeah, it's green. Oh, well, there's Olivia waking Edgar up so she can marry him.
What a way to get back at Soren. I'll marry your daddy. Well, aim for the head. Isn't that what Thanos told uh, Thor? Should have aimed for the head. And then Thor cut his head off. And they're like, what are you doing? He said, I aimed for the head. Ooh. Nice shiny frame. Another green car. Ward 2. And the battlefield, 2 plus 1 counters on it for each non-token human you control. Me. 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 Watermelon sugar. Hey. You man. Ooh, one drop wolf. I know someone who's looking for this. Got it. Catapult fodder. Another human. Oh, oh. We got a foil mythic. Jacob Hawken Inspector. Draw a card, then exile a card from your hand face down. You may look at the card for as long as it remains exiled. You may pay six if you do transform him. We got to turn it over because we'll see the next card too. He turns into a legendary enchantment. Get over your upkeep, exile top card of your library face down. You may look at it as long as it remains exile. Once during your turn, you may play a land or cast a spell from among the cards exile. With this permanent, without paying its mana cost. Not bad for a foil. Oh, I forgot land was next. Uh, splendid Relacrimation. Reprint. Meh. Relentless Bloodsucker. Blood Soak Reveler. Witch's Web. Ooh, there's a pretty frame. Uh, foil. Nice foil. Oh, there's a foil. Hmm. It flips. Kind of got. Kind of seen what's coming. Kind of seen what's coming. After this, boom! Second planeswalker. No, first planeswalker. Chandra, dressed to kill. Three drop. Plus one, add a red, and then deals the damage to a target player or planeswalker. Plus one, exile the top card of your library. If it's red, you may cast it. Seven, exile the top five cards of your library. You may cast spells from among them this turn. You get an emblem with, whenever you cast a red spell, this emblem deals X damage to any target, or X is the amount of mana spent to cast the spell. We got a Chandra, and she's dressed to kill. Ooh, that's a nice one. Dress to kill, buddy. It's kind of chilly, huh? Her and her fire dress. What do you think? Hi. She said it's no Hunger Games dress, but it's all right.
so many references this video. Zombie. Foil. Island. Oh, oh, Hex, bro, if I begin a combat on your turn, put two plus one counters on another target creature you control. Boom. Hexproof, other permanents you control have Hexproof. Begin a combat on your turn, put two plus one counters on each creature you control. It's not bad for, it's not bad for a three drop, or I mean a six drop. <laughs> three drop, that would be busted at three. Vampire's Kiss. They should have Nicolas Cage on that card. That reference might be a little old for some people. Oh, while we're talking about this, go check out the Top 10 Vampire video. Oh, look, there's a copy. Uh, dominating Vampire. Enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature with mana less than or equal to the number of vampires you control. Till end of turn. Untap it, it gains host. Host it is. Host. Creatures turn into enchantments. Sure do. Evolving wilds. Daylight. Easily in. Ooh, Torin, Fist of the Angels. Training. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a one-one green and white human soldier so training is if you attack with this and a creature that has greater power then it gets a plus one it's uh it's pretty good uh, art i think they're hit and miss on some of these different frames but i think that one looks pretty cool smell french fry tater Foil and planes. Ooh, made of dishonor. Whenever you're made of dishonor and or one or more vampires in the battlefield under your troll, create a blood token. The land only triggers once each turn. Sacrifice another creature or a blood token. Each point loses two life and you gain two. Woo! Almost lost it. Did y'all see that? Saved it. <laughs> Only professional videos for me. <laughs> Bing. Bing. Swamp and pew. Uh, one, two, exile target creature card from your graveyard and put a plus one counter on this. Hence, all activated bill of all creatures exiled with it. Not bad. Not bad. Um, commons. Each player chooses a non-land permanent they control. Return all non-land permanents not chosen this way to their owner's hand. Then you draw a card for each opponent who has more cards in their hand than you. Shenanigany. Oh.
we on the last stack. Still haven't seen our game life guy. We need that guy. We need that guy for standard. Because we're playing green white game life for some odd reason. The beginning of combat on each turn, choose one. Creature control get plus one plus one, gain trample. Target land gains add three to your three green to your mana pool. Draw a card for if you control a creature with power three or greater, you gain three life. Seems very versatile. Boom. <clears throat> Seems very versatile. Do all the packs have four on them? Huh. They do. That's weird. Every single pack does. Huh. Oh look, we got her. So this emblem, ha ha, winning. Oh, oh, we got a Soren. We got the. This is actually like Castlevania. Four drop. For loyalty, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal a card, put it in your hand. If you do, lose life equal to its plan of A. Create a 2 3 black vampire creature token with flying. Deals 13 damage to any target. You gain 13 life. Oh, look at that art, though. So good. So good. So good. So excited. That's two planeswalkers. Two Edgars and two planeswalkers. Mess going on. Okay. Insect. Oh, this guy. Whole breach horror. Seven drop. Flash. Seven eight. The spell can't be counted. Whenever you cast a spell, choose up to one. Return target spell you don't control to its owner's hand. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. I want that guy to be so good. Is he? Hmm, we'll see. Oh, cradle of safety. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty... I can only get a life on a life thing guy. Well, there's a human token. Discard your hand and then draw a card for each card you discard this way. I think this is going to be fun in Commander. Super fun in Commander. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a nice border. Ooh, getting a combat on your turn, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Each player sacks a creature, you draw a card and lose a life, or transform. Transform. Flying, death touch, life link. Pay three. Each creature you show with flying, death touch, and or life link gets plus one, plus one. It's kind of good. Kind of good. Kinda good, what do you think? Me. Did you see? Ooh, nice. We got a nice. That's two planeswalkers, you would have lost. Oh, you would have had three in yours? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to? I'm going to. You're going to open it? Uh-uh, you can open it. Uh, 
Let's see. Uh, enters the battlefield with a plus one counter on if you control the permanent mana of four or greater. Whenever you cast a spell, mana four or greater, play plus one counter on. Ooh, there's a beautiful art. Beautiful frame. I think the art on some of these cards is just fantastic. Six packs left. Like they just keep coming. Foil and a swamp. Oh, we got a toad. Four drop. Three three. Whenever a frog you control attacks, mill three cards. Whenever a permanent card is put into your graveyard from your library, exile it with a croak counter on it. You may play lands and cast spell for monk cards you own. Exile with a croak counter. Heard it right, croak. Ribbit. Undead butler. If you hear a little tapping, that's uh, a dookie walking around. Two drop three three exploit whenever when exploits a creature destroy a plant swarm beginning of your upkeep deals one damage to you that's why it's a three three for two because it's gonna deal you damage Right to it, didn't we? <laughs> oh, is this it? Nope. As long as you control seven or more enchantments, creatures you control have flying and vigilance. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, create a white spirit cleric creature with this creature has power and toughness equal to the number of spirits you control. Great for a spirit deck. And then turn of the loss. Massive might. Slug. What's in there now? Three more. Three more packs. Oh, gear. Uh, giraffe. A visionary stitcher. Zombies you control have flying. Sacrifice another non-token zombie. Create an XX blue zombie creature token where X is sacrifice creature's toughness. Nice. Not bad foil. Oh, and we got a land. That's nice. Blue red. I, mean, I guess we could play blue red Delver. Two packs left. Two packs left. Wah -ha -ha. Ooh. Whenever it attacks, sacrifice it at the end of combat. And it has disturbed. Enchanted creature has whenever this creature attacks, create a 4 4 white spirit creature token with flying that's tapped and attacking. Sacrifice it at the end of combat. So it makes your creature a geist of St. Traff. But a 4 4 for 2? I mean, you do only get one hit in, but still, it's not bad. Alright, last pack. 
What is it gonna be? Ooh. And it is a blank card. A human soldier. Don't hold on to those. Swamp. And uh dream shackle guys flying. Beginning in a combat, choose one. Tap target creature. Creature target tap target creature or target creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Uh, not a great card to go out on, but all in all, not too shabby. Got two planeswalkers, two eggers. Got some foils. I really like this guy. Let's see. It's got the sword. I got that art of that guy. Got the Chandra. Foil of that guy. Bad art of Edgar. Two. Two Audrics and then the, the good art of Edgar. Ooh. Will this be my commander? Let me know. Let me know if you think I should make this Edgar Markov my commander. Let me know. Comments below. Uh, if I get enough yeses, I'll make it and I'll post a deck list. So let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Everybody go out and support your local game store. If you're in Cleveland area, check out Arena. Like I said, Friday and Saturday. Be there. 7 o'clock. Come challenge. Uh, hope everybody enjoys their weekend. Bye.